Hey everyone, it's Kevin here with Visual Productivity. Today I want to show you two ways to split the screen in XMind 7. Now one way is very, very simple and one way takes a little more effort and it'd be more if you want to have the screen split or at least have mind maps open on multiple monitors. Let me show you the really easy way first of all. Now all we need to do is make sure, unfortunately we can't split uh, the screen using different tabs at the bottom. We can't use different individual maps in one workbook, but we can split different workbooks. So at the top, these tabs at the top are different workbooks. I currently have three workbooks open. Now the way to do this, and I've made the background dark. It's a little hard to see when the background's light, so I've made it dark so you'll be able to see it quite easily. I'm going to grab this, left click and hold that left button down, and just bring it down to the grid, bring it down into the actual map. And you can see there's these vertical lines that have gone to um, down the middle of the screen. I'm gonna let this go, and what we'll find is that the, the map I've dragged should go to the left, and the other two will go to the right, just like that. So it's as simple as that. I've now split these, I can move this around, and I, you can see at the bottom I still have my tabs, so I can go ahead and do whatever I need to, copy and paste, and move things over. When I'm done, it's just simple. I just drag it back, and we're all set from there. Now, if I grab this and I drag it, drag it straight down, you can see that if I drag it down to the left half of the screen, I'll have that one that I've grabbed move to the left. If I go to the right, I can make it go to the right as well. What I can also do, and you can probably guess this already, is as I come through the middle, you'll see that the lines will now turn horizontal. And that means I can move the map, my map of choice, to either the top or the bottom. Let's put it on the bottom. And there we go, simple as that. So I've split the screen a couple of different ways. The second way to share a screen, and I know I've shared this tip before in a video, I think, but the second way to do it is to use the portable version of XMind. So let's go in here. We'll go to the xmind.net, hit the download page, and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there'll be other versions, so Mac, Linux, and of course the portable version. We'll head in down here, and then you would download the XMind portable version. Now, the nice thing about this version is you can put it on a zip drive, you can carry it wherever you want, but it also runs just fine off your computer. So after we download it, and I've already downloaded it, it's 252 megabytes, so it's, it's not small, but it's not huge. You want to double click and head in here and then choose whichever you need, whether it's the, the Windows version or the Mac version. Now, there's two things you're going to need. So if I want the Windows, I'm going to need to grab Windows and all the common files as well. So we'll take those and we'll drag those and we'll move them off wherever we need them. What I would suggest you do is probably put them in a, in a, a file you want, want to call it XMind Portal. Let's go ahead and do that. Great. We're going to drag these in here just like so. And that way we know that they're, in, they're all bundled together. I'll double click on this. We'll go in. And the second thing I would recommend is I would say move this somewhere. So maybe move it to program files or just somewhere where it's not on your desktop. And then we're going to go in and just like a lot of things, you're going to right click on this. We'll hit create shortcut. And now drag the shortcut to your desktop or wherever you need it. And now all you ever need is just that little shortcut and we're set up. Double click on that. It might take a second or two to load the first time and that's fine. And once we're done, there we go. And it's just going to, it's trying to access the internet. I won't let it do it right now. I can go in and I can start adding or start opening different templates. Using the portable version takes limited technical proficiency. I think it, you can probably do this by watching the video and watching how I do this. It's not too, too bad. And from there, you can just take this thing and you can move it to a different screen and you know, really pretty much whatever you want. If you want to just toggle between your, X, your regular one and a separate file you're working on, you can do that as well. Hey guys, that's it for now. If you like the video, like always, go ahead and hit the like button, leave me a comment, I'm always into chatting, or stop by visualproductivity.net and you can connect a bit further. That's it, we'll talk soon.